Good morning and welcome back to Light in the Darkness. Um, it is our part two episode with Pastor Lysanda Glamini. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. Yes. Thank you, Redemption South Africa, for having me. So if you missed part one, please go and watch it. Um, it, it there's just so many nuggets of blessing that um, Pastor Lysanda has shared with us. Amen. But if you don't know where she is from, she has started a women's movement called Women of Reverence. And I can to know it by social media I was really impacted by by it um, it's really your heart is about um, getting women of all different churches and um, denominations and colors and everything mm -hmm. together on one yeah. platform to share yeah. Jesus and I think that is incredible thank you so much so thank you for being here today thank you for having me so it's been a time of just healing and just yes. since 2016. Six, sorry. 2006. Six, sorry okay. about that. Six. 2006. So that was where your life changed. Yes. And, and tell us about that moment, um, your encounter. Was that the, the turning point in your life? Was that the, an encounter that you had with God that just shifted everything else? And, and what was that like for you? And share a little bit about that. About that. Yes. So I have to give you this background. Like I mentioned earlier on, mm. my maternal side of the family, mm. um, they're Christian. So my grandmother was a born again Christian in the okay. 80s and my grandfather. So I was exposed to the truth of mm. Christ. Mm. Then she prayed for her children and us, our mm. generation, to get saved. Mm. Her children got saved, all of them. So my mother also starting started telling us about about Jesus, but for me, the encounter with, with Christ um, happened before I got saved because the Bible does speak about Jesus pursuing us mm. and God pursued me many mm. times. And we were sharing earlier on that Jesus speaks to me mostly in dreams. Mm. And just to share one story, one of my friends had an accident in Louis Botha um, at 3 a.m. and I actually dreamt about it and I would wake up in the dream, mm. kneel down. I was religious like that. <laughs> <laughs> kneel down and pray yeah. for him. And then the minute I go back to sleep, the accident continued. Fast forward, I met a mutual friend that same morning and um, he told me that, oh, I've, did you hear he had a, an accident at Louis Botha? And I said, don't tell me it was 3 a.m. And I knew it was 3 oh a.m. And he said, yes, you are actually, um, you're supposed to be a witch doctor. But yeah. he said it in, in an African <laughs> way. And I, but because I knew the truth and I said, no, I refuse that. And I went back to my flat. I was stay, staying here in Lyndhurst and I knelt down and prayed and I said, Lord Jesus, I'm not ready for you. Hmm. How? Wow. Audacious of me. Wow. Anyway, uh, I get goosebumps when I say that, how much I've rejected Jesus. And anyway, he continuously pursued me. Over the years. Over the years. Mm. Amazing, amazing, um, in amazing ways. Mm. And, um, and in 2006, pregnant with my mm. now 14-year-old in my room, um, and I was dreaming, and I just felt this being in my room, just sure. this presence. And I started saying, I love you, Lord Jesus. I just knew. I said, I love you, Lord Jesus. I love you, Lord Jesus. And I started worshiping, wow. not in song. Believe you me, I can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> so I love you, Lord Jesus. And I started praising sure. him in my own language, in Kosa. And I just felt the softest, softest hand touching me. And the first thing that came out of my mouth was, forgive them, Lord, for they don't know what they do. Mm. And he left. Mm. And I looked for a church like mm. a headless chicken. I have a very good friend of mine, Unatim Daga. Well, he's Mrs. Tembo now. Um, and she was saved from a very young age. Okay. And I phoned her. I said, friend, it's time find me a church. Hmm. I went to a church in Pretoria, 3CI, um, and then they referred to me to Santon City Church, now called Upper Room, they're in Bryanston, yes. and a gentleman called Peter Mannings, who was a pastor, then led me to Christ. Wow. So for me, that has been the best moment and mm, an encounter that is with the presence 
um, of and I, God. And I just love how you know and you felt that that He is pursuing you. Yes. That He was He was searching for you. He was He was chasing after you. Yes. And it's not us chasing after Him. Oh, no. He's chasing <laughs> after <flesh>. us. <laughs> and and I think um, it's really evident. Yeah. The attack. Mm. Um, on you in in putting fear and labels on you because I think um, it's very evident you have a very strong and powerful voice for Jesus and to reveal Jesus and to share your story it is powerful Amen. and yes I can see that and and so obviously we have a we have a conference coming up called Daughter with a Voice is the theme and I'm very excited about it because it's not my theme I really yeah. believe it's the theme that the Lord has given us yes. for His girls, His Amen. daughters. And Amen. I think, I really believe that it's the time to, to arise and speak. Yes. Not opinion, yeah. um, not what we think, yeah. but speak our, our Jesus stories, speak the Word of God. Amen. And I really believe, you know, there are women out there that are needing encouragement in that. Yeah. And so, and I really believe it's something you've walked out. And would you, would you encourage um, the the listeners today with something on your heart um, to encourage them to in in this theme of of speaking and arising and speaking the word of God is there something you could say to them today? Thank you for for the opportunity and I just want to say to the ladies it's a privilege and honor for me to be given this platform by your senior pastors to share what God has been speaking to me about. Mm -hmm. I think the first thing to start off is in Genesis chapter Mm -hmm. 3 verse 16 and I'm going to paraphrase it just to look Mm -hmm. at the time so that I don't take much time. But it's a story we know very well where Eve, um, after they had sinned with um, Adam and the Lord said to Eve that when you give birth, you will experience certain labor, you will experience labor pains. Yes. And God has been walking me through that this journey of when you birthing something of God, mm. there will always be pain. There's always a, um, an attack from the enemy. Mm. There's always a silencing mm-hmm. from the enemy. Mm-hmm. There's always a labeling mm. from the enemy. And yeah. that and that shows us that when we, God has given us a voice yes. as women yes. and the enemy will always try to silence us, but we should know that the birthing Mm. and what we want to say, what Mm. God has given us Mm. will come in pain. Mm. And that pain means the attack from the enemy. Mm. But in the same scripture, God has promised us that we will um, put, uh, we will hit the 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 snake on its head. Mm. So which means the enemy is defeated. What God Mm. did on the cross, what Jesus did, did on the cross. Mm. He said it is finished. Yes. So we should be comfortable yes. in birthing in the pain that we would be feeling in mm. birthing whatever God has given us that it is finished. So for example, you could be God is could be asking you lead a small group within your particular mm. local mm. church. God would be asking you write a blog. Mm. God would be asking you serve Um, within your local church Mm. or God will be asking you speak Mm. whatever God is giving you as a voice Mm -hmm. um, within his kingdom Mm. the enemy will always try to fight it yes and I think and I think that's so true because I think so often when we experience some resistance Mm. um, or, or it's uncomfortable Yes. We actually back off, sit yes. down and be quiet yes. when it's actually, no, the devil doesn't want you to speak. Yes. The devil doesn't want you to share your story. So the devil true. doesn't want you to um, so go and love that person or pray for that person. Yes. So I do think um, we need to press in yes. and not back down, even yes. if it's uncomfortable, even if it's <laughs> stretching. And, and, and often it's times of stretching, you know, it's not nice. Oh, definitely. It's not comfortable. Definitely. But it's required. Yeah. It, it's it's needed. Um, yeah. I, I remember with me starting to speak, I used to shake like a leaf and <laughs> have a runny stomach and not eat for two days. And man, that is not comfortable. Yeah. That is not nice. Yeah. But I knew I, I, I've got something to say. Amen. And I have a story to tell about Jesus. Yes. And He deserves to be glorified 
Amen. through my voice. Amen. And I was just like, I'm not going to let anything in my flesh stop yes. what people need to hear about Jesus. Oh, so it's important. And we all have a Jesus story. If we have met Jesus and we have encountered Jesus, yes. we have something to say. You have Amen. something to say. Amen. 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 Lysander, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you for your story. Thank you for everything you've shared today. It's been such a blessing. Amen. So before we close off, let's take communion together. And um, so if you have bread, juice, it doesn't matter what it is. It's about faith in Jesus in this moment. And let's just receive everything He died to give us on the cross. We have victory today. He has set us free. We are washed. We are forgiven. He has placed our feet on higher victory ground. He has given you now the opportunity to speak, Amen. to arise, to yeah. share. Yeah. It doesn't matter about your past. Amen. It doesn't matter where you come from. Yeah. So let's lift up the bread today and repeat after me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For your broken body. Amen. That by your stripes, I am healed. Amen. I am whole. Amen. From the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Nothing missing, nothing broken in Jesus' name. Now break your bread and receive. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I know your precious blood. You can just repeat. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For your blood. For your blood. That Thank you, you poured Lord. out for me. Yes, Lord Jesus. For my sin. Mm. For my shame, Amen. for my fear, Amen. for any condemnation, Amen. any a lie that has attached itself to us, Amen. your blood washes over us. Amen. It sets us free. Mm. We are righteous children of God, mm. loved, accepted, adopted, chosen, Amen. anointed, and appointed Thank you, Jesus. for such a time as this. Thank yes, you, Jesus. Lord. Now receive it. Amen and amen. amen. We are so loved. Anointed <laughs> and appointed Lord. for such a time as this. Amen. amen. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you for Lord. being on here today. Follow Thank Women you. of Reverence. They're doing amazing, Thank amazing you. things. Yes. Um, Thank you for being with us today. Thank we you really for appreciate it. Me. God Thank bless you. you. Thanks for tuning in today. Let us know where you're watching from. Comment. Go check out Women of Reverence. Thank and you. we'll see you next time. God bless. Bye. Bless you. Thank you.